Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 4x4 test tent with another unboxing video. Took about a month off from my birthday, had a little bit of fun. Now we are back at it and I am behind on reviews, so I really need to kick it into high gear. We are going to start today with a, uh, a company that I've reviewed before. Uh, they had some pretty good lights actually. This is a much larger light than what I reviewed before. This is uh, from Sehan. And this is going to be a big uh, bar folding 4x4 light. And you can see there's an additional box there, which is some add-on bars, which I have been just begging for people to make more add-on bars, more add-on bars. Somebody finally sent me some to check out. So we're going to check it out. You know this is going to be good. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you click the links below to support the channel. There's discount codes down there on my website. There's merch. There's all kinds of stuff, all kinds of different ways that you can help support the channel really the strug the struggle is real right now so uh you know how the economy is <laughs> click the links below well, let's uh let's jump into it let's just get this sucker hooked up all right we got it all hooked up and ready to go let's get down to ground level we'll see what comes in the box and we'll check out the par numbers the heat reading the spectrum and everything here's our test height here with meter meter 25 inches off the canopy which the meters are uh, about an inch so it's a 24 inch canopy reach just like usual all right let's get down to ground level here and we'll take a look at what we have look at this sucker man those are some thick bars too killing it man so uh, what we've got basically is just uh, rope ratchets they actually give you uh, four rope ratchets with metal gears so you get four metal gear rope ratchets I didn't use them because uh, I, I just have these hangers already here so it just makes it easy for me but they do give you four rope ratchets so that's pretty sweet and then you get the daisy chain in case you buy a few of them and you want to hook them together that's awesome of course you get a power cord that's already hooked up obviously and then we've got the manual here take a quick look at this there's our spectrum table of contents some basic info here feel free to pause if you'd like to read any of this suggestions and this is the KR650 is what we'll we will be reviewing today the 650 installation steps pretty basic it was super easy to hook up super super easy all just plug and play you can see it's got all the watertight connections that are just they plug right in snap in they only go in one way there's a controller if you do have a controller or you want to use their controller and warranty for a period of five years so it's got a five-year warranty that's pretty sweet it says they'll repair or replace the appropriate parts if they decide to replace the entire product the warranty will reply from the date of the purchase of the initial five years obviously you don't get another five years is basically what that says more than 15 percent of the diodes must be non-functional before it shall be considered defective so there's a, a hard line right there so 15% of the diodes can go out and they won't replace it. Eh, I don't know, man. I'd argue it, it, 5%, honestly. Like, I'm losing power. <laughs> but I guess you're not really, like, losing power. You're just losing output because you're, you're not taking that power if the, if the diode isn't, isn't functioning. So, I mean, that is one thing. And that's about it. Pretty cool. Five-year warranty, though. That's pretty sick. So that's what you get with it, and then this is the fixture itself. And I did strap the uh, the add-on bars on here, but I don't have them turned on. Really, really easy. They just have these little uh, hangers here. It just literally just just clips right on, like the easiest install I've ever seen. Really, really handy. It does add a second plug. I wish there was some way to plug it into the light, but you can't have everything. It's just the way it goes 
and uh, you can see how it mounts to the uh, to the rails there. You can uh, disconnect that if you'd like, and I think you might be able to run it outside. Uh, I think you'd have to get an extension actually, because this isn't very long here. So you you could do it if you get an extension from here. Just get a longer cord uh, to here. They're standard fittings, so it wouldn't be really hard to find a longer cord if you wanted to do that. But it mounts to here pretty nice. It looks pretty good, and uh, I dig it. But let's take a look at these bars here, because these things are uh, are beast. We're looking four wide on the uh, the whites, and if you notice, that's all warm white. There is no cool white in this fixture. Like this is a straight flower fixture. All it has is warm white and red. So you got four rows of warm white and then two rows of red spaced really, really close too. They're about three inches maybe, the spacing. Like there is a lot of red in this light. This thing's gonna test off the charts on the red, watch. Big, big red spike. So if you're looking for a, uh, a flower only or flower mostly light, this is definitely, definitely going to need to be on your radar. So let's, uh, let's take a look at what, uh, what we're pulling here. Let's pull up the watt meter and par meter here. There we go. So we're at the minimum there on the dial. We're pulling 109 watts. And about 120, about 120 ish to each corner. That's actually not bad. That's uh, where we want to start pretty much. So, this is for seedlings and clones right here. T take a quick center reading 169, a little bit high, but that would be fine. You could definitely do that. So, basically, at zero, this is a uh, seedling and clone light. Like, you can do the whole tent full of seedlings and clones at zero. That's pretty awesome. So let's kick it up to let's see where veg is going to be here. About 350. Oh, that thing goes up quick. There we go. And now the, the back side of the tent has the benefit of being completely enclosed, so it reads a little bit higher. The front side, I've got the whole door open, so it is going to read a little bit lower on this side. So take that with a grain of salt. But damn, um, that's pretty good. 321 watts. We're at just under 50% on the dial here. So you can get that zoomed in there to show you. Just under 50%. Let's take a center reading. Looking 500 in the center, so a little bit hot, but some people like to veg pretty hot, so that uh, that could work out. It's just not too bad, not too bad. Looking like, uh, what, like 150 from the side to the center, or the corner to the center? It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. So let's kick it up to uh, flower. which the start of flower is going to be about 600. Oh, it's pretty touchy. A lot of power in this sucker. There we go. We'll get it about there. About average out. So right there we are at... just a hair over 70% power right there and we're in flower territory so this is going to be base flower uh, the, all the corners are going to be fat colas and then the center is going to be extra fat because the center we're reading 836 so that's killer man that's perfect for a beginner grower to a, a, an intermediate grower that uh, isn't really maybe dialed in and all their nutrients and everything you run a little bit lower lighter li lighting levels but still sufficient to uh, to produce really nice uh, really nice crop really so that's uh, that's pretty cool 
Let's see what this sucker can do, though. Let's blow it open. Let's blow it open. 100%. All the way. And that's going to take us to 666 in one corner. 700. So with the door closed, we'd be getting 700 in every corner is what we'd be looking at. So 700 in every corner is really, really good. That obviously is going to be fat cola territory. The center is almost a thousand. It's just shy. 987. We're looking at about a uh, about a 300 par spread from the corner to the center. That's a little bit higher than some of the other lights that I've tested that have the uh, diodes spread out. You can see these diodes are spaced evenly instead of being uh, like spaced to one end or the other, like some of the other companies are doing. So you can see the effect of that. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit more center hot, but that's not bad at all. Like that's not really like a thousand in the middle, 700 on the sides. I'll take that all day long. That's plenty of power to do what you want. And it's not too much power for most people. So it's not going to blow the doors off of everything and uh, burn your plants up, overdrive them too much so that you can't keep up with the nutrients. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's kick these, uh, these lights on. So we're at 100% already. So we got far red and UV switches here. Let's kick on the far red. So we got a far red and a far red. Let's see what that boosts. So now we're up to 720, 725-ish range with the far red boost. And you can move this bar around too. I just I just arbitrarily put it here because it was kind of evenly spaced throughout everything. You can put it uh, closer or farther apart. You can see that adds quite a nice strip of red there. Now let's kick on the UV. See what kind of par bump that's gonna be. Uh, not much, another like five or so three to five UV isn't super strong but it's not really supposed to be you don't want to just blast the crap out of your plants with UV that will that will damage them but yeah that's pretty sick that is pretty sick man look at that let's get a nice wide shot for the thumbnail there Man, that is killing it. So with the add-on bars, I that's that's just awesome. That's just plain awesome. Let's get a center reading for shits and giggles. We got 1030 now. We're over a thousand now in the middle with the uh, with the add-on bars. So kick ass, man. That is super cool. This is a sick setup. I dig it. So let's uh, let's see. Let's uh, bust out the spectrometer here, and we'll take some spectrum readings. Fire the sucker up. All right. There we are, zeroed out. Oh yeah, look at that. UV bump. Blue. Where's the blue coming from? You got hella red. And then the 740 bump. So it's got some infrared. And then the far red. It goes, does it really go all the way to 800? This is super wide spectrum, look at that. That's awesome. There's the makeup here. Look at all the UV. There's actually seven micromoles. And infrared, three. Far red, 37. Look at that red ratio, though. 170 to 423. Damn. That's a lot of red. Like I was saying, a lot of red. Hell yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's let her warm up, and we'll take some heat readings, and uh, we'll wrap it up. All right, so now I shut down the main bars and I'm just doing 
the add-on bars here. We're just gonna use this meter to check it out here. <laughs> Look at those spikes, man. So that's the add-on bars. We're looking at UV, plus there's the blue. There's where the blue spike comes from, in the 460. And then you got this massive orange red, and then two deep red. It actually does have 800. Wow, that's super deep. <laughs> this this add-on bar is pretty impressive, actually. That's sick. That is really cool. Kick ass, guys. Kick ass. And it's about uh, 36 additional par. Well, that's at, uh, that'd be at 19 inches because this is a 5 inch meter. So, yeah. Pretty sick. All right, we are back. I've let this warm up for a good couple of hours here. Good long time. Let's take a look and see what we got. The warm around the driver box as to be expected let's check like one of the outer whoops outer bars here 119 we're hitting like one 129 on this one over here one thirty five Get a little bit closer. Yeah, 135 on the one next to the bar. Furthest one, 125. So 125 to 135. Driver box, 123. And the add on bars. In the hottest spot, about 125. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. Pretty sick kit, man. For real. This uh, far red and UV is is super clutch on the add-on bars. Now you can get this um, with the add-on bars, or you can get it with the add-on bars and the Wi-Fi, or you can just get the Wi-Fi controller. I don't have the Wi-Fi controller. They didn't send that, but that is an option for you if you need that. But you can get it with the bars or the Wi-Fi controller. It's a pretty sick setup for, uh, I think right now it's about $600 plus my discount code on top of that. Um, definitely click the link below for the discount code and check it out because this is pretty sick, man. I gotta say, it's a really, really powerful setup for the money for the money it's great absolutely great just killing the game man just look at this sucker huge that is awesome super awesome so yeah check it out dudes hopefully you guys like the uh review of this I think it's a cool light I mean it goes wall to wall in every space gets great par it's great spectrum it's a winner it's a winner I give it a thumbs up you guys can give this video a thumbs up as well click the links below I got my uh, uh, website down there with all the discount codes all my discount codes that I have plus merch all kinds of stuff so check that out and uh, until next time guys happy growing